It takes a special kind of woman to be a professional bodybuilder, someone who's willing to forge her own path in life and not listen to those who say that what she does is strange. And although all the professional women are very different from one another, they all share the same dream, to become Ms. Olympia. For one woman, that title is not a dream anymore, but a reality. She's Linda Murray from Detroit, Michigan. Well, what I enjoy most about being Miss Olympia is uh, just all the exciting people that I've met this year. And it's just really enhanced my life. I think more than, than the, the raise in income, I've enjoyed most the people. One woman who doesn't believe in following anyone else's lead is the Australian Bev Francis. A former world record holding power lifter, she became a bodybuilder in 1983. Bev was at first criticized for being too big and muscular for a woman and was pressured into trimming down. Bev was definitely ahead of her time as current competitors now prove with their larger size. She enjoyed moderate success in competition, culminating in a second place finish to Linda Murray in the 1990 Ms. Olympia. After this show, Bev went back to her roots of size and power. 1991 saw her return to the Ms. Olympia stage, a transformed woman, larger than ever before. Bev only narrowly lost the 1991 Ms. Olympia and will no doubt return again to vie for the title. A surprise for many people at the 1991 Ms. Olympia was Laura Craval, who showed her best condition to date. The former Ms. International is all business when it comes to bodybuilding. I think in bodybuilding, they still look for the same things. They try to find the muscularity with the femininity. Uh, a lot of people think there's a, 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 a controversy there. Some people like a very muscular woman, some people like a very feminine woman. But I think it's possible to put both of them together. And as the, the, still the top athletes, the top Olympic competitors, I think, um, have both of those qualities. Bodybuilding is full of instant legends, athletes who seemingly come out of nowhere and instantly become among the best in the world. Sandy Riddell burst upon the pro scene in 1989, almost defeating Corey Everson in her last Ms. Olympia contest. Returning in 1991, she proved she was no fluke by placing fourth. I started training originally to get on the fire department to pass the rigorous physical um, agility test, and then um, about a year later, a year and a half after I was on the fire department, I uh, wanted to compete because everyone in my gym was competing at the time. They basically just talked me into it. Um, and from the moment I started competing, I wanted to turn pro. My goal was to turn pro and to compete on the Olympic stage. Perhaps the most loved female poser of all time, Diana Dennis of California has elevated her posing routines to the level of performance art. Though it seems she's the most overlooked by the judges, the fans have a different opinion, which can be heard through their enthusiastic cheers of support. A true professional in every sense of the word, Diana is probably the most experienced and respected woman in bodybuilding. In bodybuilding, who knows what the judges are looking for? It doesn't really matter to me so much what anybody else on that stage looks like. Um, it's more important to me to be the best that I can be, to make differences and um, improvements in my physique from one year to the next. One of the most improved female bodybuilders in 1991 was Louisiana's Lisa Lorio. Placing poorly in the past due to her lack of size, she has added a substantial amount of muscle to her small frame. 
Lisa is perhaps the most popular woman in the sport today, owing a great deal to her knockout look and sexy southern drawl. Many bodybuilding fans favored her smaller, symmetrical physique over the larger women who dominate the higher placings. Now married to Steve Winterstrom, writer and chief photographer of Women's Physique World, she now calls Sunsplash San Diego her home. Holland's Hanny Van Aken has long been regarded as one of the best female athletes in the sport. Although she didn't compete as a pro until the 1990 Ms. Olympia, Hanny placed in the top 10. She exemplifies the spirit and will that drives many to the mecca of bodybuilding to be their best. Bodybuilding for me uh, very important in the way of to making your body very tight, uh, but still stay feminine. And it's not my whole life, but it's very important to be healthy. And it depends how much muscle you can carry and be still feminine. I think it's very important to take notice of that. Every year, these dedicated athletes bring the levels of development one step higher, constantly striving to do what has not been done before. They're pioneers in a sport that is still in its infancy, the women of professional bodybuilding. 